Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see what are the different types of NoSQL database that are available in the internet. Let's try to see it. Let's discuss different types of NoSQL databases. The very first one we need to discuss is the relational database. Now, a lot of people tell that relational database is not a NoSQL database. However, it is definitely definitely qualifies for the NoSQL database. Remember, NoSQL database means not only SQL. That means SQL databases and other. Not only with the SQL, SQL and some more other are there. In the case of relational databases, we store our data into columns and rows. There are multiple tables where we store data and the tables can relate each other with the help of relations. Here what I am trying to explain is, I am trying to explain about the RDBMS, RDBMS structure. So the data how the in the relational database is stored in the form of the columns and rows in a table. <coughs> in it, there, there are multiple tables, there will be a multiple table, something like user, uh, user table, profile details. So like this employees, like this we will be having so many tables. So depending on the data you will be having appointments like that we will be having the data. And the multiple tables store the data and the tables relation. So for example, uh, what I can say is the user and the profile. Okay, so you, a user can have multiple profiles. So one to many. So these all relations can be having. So we can have these are related to each other with the help of relations. Something like foreign key relations, one to many, many to many, maintaining the pivot table. So like this, we will be using the relations. The popular relational databases are SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL and few others. So these are the popular RDBMS available in the market. So SQL Server, Oracle, My MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL. So all of them are able to know about this one. The second type of NoSQL database is Document Database. Now we, are, we understood about the first type of database, different types of NoSQL database we are trying to learn it. First one is the relational database and the second type of NoSQL database is the document database. So this is the this is what the document database we will be discussing more depth in this series. In this series means in this MongoDB series we will be discussing more about this document database only. <clears throat> document database store data in documents similar to JSON objects. So that means the document data, how it will store the data. Previously in the RDBMS, it stores the data in the column in the row in the format of tables, columns, and rows, and the relations like that it will store. So overall, it will be having it schema. Schema means nothing but the tables. Now here the database consists of a JSON object. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, as you are already aware of this one. Each document contains a pair of fields and values. So each document contains a pair of fields and the values and the values can have different data types like strings, numbers, array and even other objects also. It can also have an object also. So each document is the is contains a pair of key value pair something like that you can say it as key value pair. So where the key is normal string only that value will be an either it can be a string again number or again it's a array or even either it could be an object. Document database is very popular because it can hold structured and also unstructured both the kind of data very easily. So document database why it has become very popular is because it can hold both the structured data and also unstructured data also very easily. If you need to build a very complicated data structure. So if you want to build a very complicated data structure where you want to retrieve data very quickly document databases are usually a good choice if you want to build a very complicated data if you are having a very complicated data structure and also you may need to have a requirement such a way that we need to retrieve the data very quickly means then document databases are usually a good choice the popular document data databases are mongodb couchdb and few others so these are the popular document databases. Those are MongoDB, CouchDB and few others. The next one is the key value database. So the next one is comes to the key value database. So these are simpler type of database where each item contains a key and a value. 
so these are simpler type of database so where each item contains a key and value a value can typically only be retrieved by referencing only its key so that means if you want to get a value we can only retrieve by referencing its key only so querying the key value database is very simple in the key value database if your use case is simple where there is no need to store large amounts of data or you do not have to perform a very complex query then key value database are good choice popular examples of key value databases are redis and also dynamodb so these are the popular key value databases the next one is the white column stores so we have learned about the rdbms document database and also the key value database also we have seen it now we are learning about the another type of NoSQL uh, database that is nothing but white column stores so what is this white column stores these are very similar to the relational databases it seems because it stores data into tables and rows so this is the thing we know we know however there is one aspect of the white column store which is very different from the relational database is the dynamic columns so in, the, in our rdbms you will be having a fixed column so we need to mention the names id name so like this you will be having the fixed columns whereas in this wide column groups you will be having a dynamic columns wide column stores provide a lot of flexibility over relational databases so wide column stores provide a lot of flexibility over relational database because each row is not required to have the same columns so that is the main thing wide column stores are great when you need to store a large amount of data and also you can predict its query pattern so whenever you are having whenever whenever you want to store a large amount of data and can predict its query pattern means you can use this white column stores the popular examples of these white column stores are cassandra and hbase the last one is the graph database so now the last one is the graph database there are different in the in the different types of nosql databases so the last one is the graph database graph database stores data into nodes and edges so graph database normally stores the data in the into the nodes and edges nodes typically store information about people places or various things which are typically stored into the relational databases so that means nodes normally stores the hardcore data that is nothing but people's places and various things so something like relational database whereas the relations so what are the relations we are having right whereas edges store information about the relationship between the nodes okay so they just uh, store the information between the relationship of the nodes if you are storing people into graph database then edges will contain its information you will not go deep into this one graph databases are great when you want to traverse relationship to look for part patterns like fraud detections the popular NoSQL databases are Neo4j and Janus Graph. So these are the popular graph databases, not NoSQL database. This is, these are graph database. So these are all about the different types of NoSQL databases available. So one is the RDBMS, document database, key value pair, and wide column store. And the last one is the graph database. So these are the different types of databases available in the market. So hope you understood about the different types of NoSQL database available. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.